growing some of your own food is one of the best things that you can do for the environment. And, but I live in a city where I don't have access to dirt and, and a garden. And, and so it was a challenge to find a way of growing some of my own food in the conditions that, that I have here locally. And so, uh, you know, it was really just a matter of, of experimentation once I thought about hydroponics and how they could um, possibly go be made to fit the conditions of a, of a window. So hydroponics is a different way of growing, um, and the plant's roots actually grow differently. So in soil, they have to grow very large root systems to go find new water and nutrients in the soil. Whereas in hydroponics, you're essentially dissolving all of the food that the plant needs into some liquid, and then directing that liquid directly to the plant's roots this is a typical kind of air pump that you get at an aquarium store for your fish tank. And it is feeding a, a bubble into the bottom of this tube that's, that's submerged down in the water. And so each bubble, as it rises up to the top, is carrying a little bit, a little column of this nutrient-rich water on top of it, and then squirting out at the top, and then dripping down through each one of the bottles and through each one of the plants. More than 13,000 people around the world have downloaded the instructions. Um, they've built systems in Hong Kong, in Finland. Um, there was a whole team there that really wanted to grow vegetables during the middle of the dark days of the winter. People in every hemisphere at this point have, have done it. In general, a lot of kind of leafy kinds of, of vegetables and greens, when they come to us in the stores, they've usually been trucked for, you know, three or four days or have been, it's been three or four days since they were actually harvested. And throughout the course of that process, they're essentially dying. And so the, the leafy greens that we end up getting are usually um, have lost a lot of their nutritive value at that point. When I take a bite off of this kale right now, I'm getting all of the nutrients that are there in, its, um, in, in this living leaf.